laman ng data warehouse ng banko, yung financials. I think it all started there. So how how did I start? I started by volunteering to count <laughs> applications. And then how long did it take me? I guess end to end between that moment na akala ko ang bobo ng decision ko to volunteer up to the time na naging MIS which was actually a supervisor position assistant manager. Siguro tatlong taon din yun. Tatlong taon of some random crap. Pero after that, tuloy-tuloy na kasi sabi ko, look, the whole place run the base which apparently is the truth naman pala of any, any bank. So if you know how the database works, you know how everything works. And then every application na ginagamit namin, including that encoding app, was just the front end on top of that database. So again, you realize that after a while, no? And then later, si, yung IT department na yung nagtatanong sa akin, no joke, I wasn't in the IT department, pero parang ako yung shadow IT, tinatawag ng shadow IT, na I was, uh, I was in the business side. Pero mas alam ko pa yung, yung mga systems kesa doon sa IT. Kasi yung mga IT people, labas pasok din, eh. they, 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 they go to another job. So pag may bagong IT na naka-hire, napa-assign sa akin. O alam niyo yan, kasapan niyo si Sir Doc, kasi mas alam niya yung mga systems dito kesa sa amin. Parang ganun. So, yun. So, maybe the insight also there is, minsan may struggle yung mga devs getting a dev job. Sometimes, you might not even need to get a dev job first, pero use your dev skills to, you know, learn about a company. Uh, it could be a data analyst job for, for, for the time being. Or the vice versa, if you want to be a data analyst, walang available, you might want to take some IT job first. And then transition to the right job. Kaya yung first life hack ko eh. Don't see the next job as the job. Talagang dapat nag-job hack ka. Yan. Yan. Yan ang kwento ko. Ganda. Lakas. Yeah. <laughs> Laki yun ang talon eh, no? <laughs> ang dami na galit nga. No? <laughs> yeah. Um, Until um, now, yeah. yung close-up ng mga dati kong office mate. Kasi yeah, alam nila na nabisto. Sobrang bitter. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I think we're down to our final question na. Uh, di ko nagkakwento yung kwento ko. Medyo gas-gas na yung kwento ko. If you want to learn about my journey, nasa podcast siya. So I run a podcast. Punta nyo na lang doon. Um, yeah, to wrap up, what is your vision for the future of tech communities in the Philippines? And what message of encouragement and advice? Would you like to leave with our audience today? All right, simulan ko na to, Kuya Dev. Go. Ayan, so <laughs> for future, um, hopefully more collabs between. Actually, ang ganda kasi nang nasimulan ni Mike Opinar, shout out sa iyo, uh, the founder of Data Engineering Pilipinas. He he is the primary spearhead ng event natin today. So shout out sa iyo, Sir Mike. Um, yun, so hopefully there are more collabs like this in the future. Uh, kasi uh, maganda kasi to na may free events like this one. So, so this is for people who cannot go out on, um, you know, yung magkatransa sila. Kasi yung mga conferences, minsan, those, malaya kasi mga distances eh. Uh, although there are conferences being held, in their respective localities so check them out guys so we share them uh sa mga facebook groups namin and hearing this kasi more events like this because hearing these insights from these experts today in a stage for free you know um it's it's a huge help i and i don't know that the people watching today who are listening and engaging with the experts today you know so they also get to engage with the panel uh, would agree with, with what i'm saying no and that is from also from the comfort of their homes and the fact na na stream natin siya sa facebook din so people na nasa facebook at uh, facebook live ngayon they can also get to to comment to ask a question and to connect no with their fellow yung sa mga nanonood at sa um yung sa mga experts natin today so, you know, even with just listening, no, for hours, kasi pa 2.5 hours na pala tayo eh. Hindi <laughs> natin na malay na 2.5 hours na pala tayo na nag-share uh, nag uh, sa ating discussion. You know, they, I'm sure that these people learned a lot from our experiences 
nabasa ko nga rin ito eh. Uh, there's someone who shared na, I came for a tech talk, but I was given life lessons. And we also get to hear the life stories of the panel today. So, doon naman sa, ayun, sa more collab. So, hopefully, there are there's a healthy relationship between communities. Kasi, if there's a healthy relationship between communities, sipin yung impact na magagawa natin uh, when we are going to organize an event, for example, uh, from one committee to another. No? And at the end of the day kasi, we're doing this for the people that we wish to help. In our case, may mga students, uh, beginners, and career shifters. By the way, guys, uh, palagi kami nakatambay no? sa Discord namin. Ayun, so sina Noah, sina Fertin, palagi nakatambay sa mga voice chats namin sa Discord. So if you wanna talk with them, every night kami active doon. Meron din morning shift, may day shift din. Yun yung mga nakikinig ng lo-fi, lo-fi music. Uh, tapos may night shift, yun yung mga nagko-code, managarant. And then yun nga, yung medyo uh, magandang kwentuhan no? sa graveyard shift naman. No? So yeah, so siguro may mga tao naman dito from our Discord who can attest to that. No? Uh, we also have, yun nga, uh, doon naman sa mga communities, you know, communities like Data Engineering Pilipinas, our communities, of course, we hold, we continuously hold workshops, we continuously, and then right now, we are opening din yung mga open source collaborations. So, uh, halimbawa sa amin, meron kaming open source collaboration ngayon. So, medyo nakakatuwa siya, yung concept niya kasi is finding a place where there's a bidet. Ayan. So, siguro nakaka-relate kayo dun. Uh, kasi there's a there's an excitement pag may PTA sa isang CR no so uh, that attests siguro dun sa uh, kagandahan ng lugar di ba o kaya ng company <laughs> so ang ginagamit naming framework for the front end is .js for the back end is Laravel and yung mobile naman react native so Patrick Polega bigla gawin na natin yung ano react native noon uh, pati na rin yung meron na rin dire kaming pigma noon so if you guys want to improve the design lalo sa mga looking into UI UX diyan no so you can you guys can contribute no sa aming ano actually this is the um invitation to our discord so you guys can check it out so hopefully may maka uh, darating pa yung mga workshops you know um open source collabs uh and that that is where i can see the future you no know, ng mga tech communities especially uh, sa mga meetups of course hindi mawawala yan kasi ang saya palagi pag may meetup uh, in our case yan tawanan parang ang tagal na namin ano um pagkakaibigan na nakita lang ulit ayan si Fer team uh ang gulo namin eh nakita kami so Yeah, sa mga nandito ngayon, sa so magparamdam ko yung mga FWTV people, uh, nanonood kita tayo, di ba? Para tayong uh, uh, matitidong tao. No? Ayan, so, in terms of advice, so, uh, yun din, uh, do not lose hope, guys. Uh, do not give up. Kasi yun nga, as we've heard from the experiences of our career shifters and as a panel who made it and who are continuously upskilling themselves. Ayan, so, Listen to their stories so that if you uh, if you encountered the same obstacle, alam niyo na ko paano, you know, to navigate around that obstacle or to overcome that obstacle. So always ask questions. Lalo na lalo ngayon, guys, may tech committees na. So these mentors, these experts are more approachable than ever, no? So makikita niyo sila nakatambay sa mga groups, sa mga servers. So, yeah, so feel free to reach them out. No? For example, si Sir J.P. Lazaro, he is very much active no? sa mga GC ng Student PH. Kami naman ni Fur Team, ayan, so sa uh, platforms namin, sa FWDP, and of course, sina CG din, sina Josh Dev, and tong server ng TCS. So, don't be afraid to reach them out if you want advice, ayan. And yun nga, contribute to projects or build portfolio. Uh, yeah. So, because, you know, 
resources right now are unlimited. Ang dami na resources dyan. So, you guys have to, you know, to know how to use them and listen to the insights uh, from the experiences of our experts. Kasi promise na katulong din sa akin. Because uh, ako rin, produkto rin ako ng uh, tech committees din. You know, uh, to land the job right now as a fresh grad. Ayan. So, yun lang guys. Uh, thank you very much for listening. So, yun lang, Kuya Back to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Seiji? Uy, humabol pa si Rhea. Ah, uh, yeah. Kumain. <laughs> oh, okay. Grabe ko. Kailan last question? <laughs> Kasi, uh, another, uh, another, uh, another, another two hours po ulit tayo. Siya naman mag-host. <laughs> ayan. Um, yeah. Um, first of all, ayan, thank you everyone uh, sa pag-join dito sa a podcast namin and it's a pleasure for us to share our knowledge kahit hindi man sobrang tech uh, so, so more of a career and uh, life advice yung uh, nangyari and I, I hope na marami talaga kayo natutunan so siguro sa akin ano for looking for the future first is ano I think uh, a lot of communities will be built now with the same objective of what we have right now so ayun mas marami pang communities na marirecognize sa Pilipinas and uh, kapag nangyari to is learning won't stop uh, mas maraming magiging mentors mas maraming magiging com- uh, community na magshare ng knowledge nila and yung mga experiences nila so yeah uh, dun sa mga dun, nung time na nag uh, I was a student the communities it's not yet that broad hindi pa ganun kadami and yeah, it's really amazing. I'm really happy na sobrang dami na na communities na bubo. And in the future, I hope it still continues. Lalo na ngayon, kahit yung mga students, they have their own community na. And they're not afraid to share their own experiences, their own uh, learnings to other students as well. So, yun yung un- isa sa mga nilulok ko into the future. And I think the second one is uh, mas ma-inspire pa yung mas mar- uh, maraming tao. So, yeah, we're not always here. Uh, magre-retire din kaming lahat. Uh, hindi kami yung forever leads ng mga community. And I hope na itong ginagawa namin is may pumalit sa amin in the future. So, yeah, it, I'm really, really happy na may mga sumusunod na aspiring leads. And sa mga passionate na students, developers, and I hope na yun, mas dumami pa in the future. So, they're the next ones who will share their experiences and their stories na pwede makapag-inspire pa ng next generation. So, yun. Uh, advice ko, guys. Siguro last advice for you is, ayun, uh, always enjoy your, your your learnings, your life. So, uh, huwag nyo kalimutan mag-enjoy sa buhay. So, we're devs, but we're also humans. So, yeah. Uh, Always enjoy lang. Thank you, Seiji. Rhea, sagutin mo daw lahat ng tanong. <laughs> Kailangan pantay-pantay tayo, Pri. <laughs> sige, out na, out na ako. <laughs> ah, sige, bye, uh, Seiji. Thank you, thank you. Rhea, <laughs> ano na lang. Hindi. Uh, Rhea, ano lang, pakilala ka lang siguro then answer the last question para lang ano. Ano, y- ano yung last question? Um, asan na? What is your vision for the future of tech communities in the Philippines? And what message of encouragement and, and advice would you like to leave with our audience today? So, ayun, ako po si Rhea Alum, uh, community manager ng Institute PH. So, yung vision ko for the future tech communities is now ay magtuloy-tuloy siya, uh, dumami yung uh, mag-person na gumawa ng community nila dito sa Pilipinas. At sana, ma- ano, um, ako lang ba or para... wala naririnig? Oh my God. Narinig naman siya. Hindi pa ako naririnig. <laughs> Narinig siya, Doc Vigo. Hindi ako narinig. Ah, narinig ka, Pri. Wait, wait lang. Lilipot ko yung ano. Meron. Yung. Yan. Wait lang. Wala akong marinig. Ay, kita ko lang nag-green yung ano. Ah, dinig ka, dinig ka. 
Good, good. Wala na nga, distract na ako, Char. <laughs> Wala na. Ayun, sa, sana magpatuloy yung mga tech community sa Pilipinas. Yun lang. <laughs> Galing Parang galit eh. No? <laughs> sorry na, Rhea. Sorry, sorry naman. Sorry. Sorry na. Sorry na. Sorry na. Susuyuin ka namin. Sorry na. Sorry na. Sorry na. Siguro kaya na naman tayo kay 4 team. Hello. Uh, so, yun. Ayan, linig naman ako, no? So, um, vision ko siguro sa future tech communities, parang same lang din ni Jean, na sana more collaborations din sa ibang tech communities. And also, um, sana, um, kasi for sure, dadami pa yung mga tech dyan. So, gagawa, maraming, maraming na namang gagawa ng ano, uh, tech communities for that specific um tech, you know, parang kagaya ng Laravel, ganun. So, I think yun yung nakikita ko na dadami pa yung um, tech communities na for that. And then, also, uh, yung masasabi ko siguro ang advice, um, always remember siguro na sa mga audience dito, always remember that every great journey starts with a single step. Kasi, ano eh, kailangan mo talaga, kailangan mo lang talaga mag-start somewhere, parang ganun. Kasi di mo malalaman kung ano yung journey na tatakin mo na from that, ano, sa from that specific na journey na gusto mong gawin. So, ayun, gawin mo lang talaga, yun, yun lang for me. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Kay... Andito ba si Josh? Ayun, Josh. Hey guys, hello. Yes, siguro vision na lang for, for tech communities just like others. Um, we are hoping to to um, have more uh, featured leaders um, para, of course, um, magkakaroon ng panibagong generation, right? So, um, they'll be the ones to transform the the Philippines and, uh, of course, the, 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 the build their own communities as well. So, yeah. Um, if you're st- just starting out with your journey, uh, that's okay. Uh, just try to d- pursue your pursue what you want to do tsaka do your best. Um, and if you are tra- parang medyo nahihirapan or somehow challenged um, having imposter syndrome, um, it's okay, it's okay. Um, it's okay na parang manghina and, and whatnot. Um, we have this community naman for a reason and that's to support each other. Not just on the tech side but also to support each other as 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 peers, as friends, right? So um, if you have questions, if you have um, parang inquiries or whatnot, uh, feel free to reach out to these people. Um, we are uh, very much happy to to help you out on um, on kung ano mas bumabagabag sa, sa mga isipan nyo. Um, yeah, I think that's just it for me. Um, thank you guys for attending. Thank you, thank you, Josh. So, uh, sir, doc naman tayo. Sa akin, yung future, kayo na yung future eh. When I was starting out, walang ganito. Ngayon, marangami na tayo. So, it, I think it, just i-regress nyo lang yan to the future, the dami pa lalo. Um, siguro, one thing that I look forward to is, ma, baga, there are more people who are willing to help each other. Kasi ngayon, parang, parang namalabas, there are a few people willing to help each other. Tapos malaki na yung tulong doon. So, kumbaga yung expression is pay it forward. Find find someone else who was starting out like you. Pay it forward. Tapos yun din yung comment ko. Kasi marami naman mga tech communities, pero parang hindi sila pay it forward. Parang, parang nag, kumbaga sa IT architecture, parang naging monolithic kesa sa distributed. Uh, and you know naman that that's a risky architecture. Kasi pag natigok yun, down lahat. So, the more communities, the better. Just follow it. Open source is the reason... The reason why open source exists is because of that, diba? Parang spread, spread, spread. Um, pero hindi naman, ibig sabihin, lahat libre. At some point, 
you also want to pay it back to the people who helped you. So I also expect that to happen. Kasi marami dyan, yayaman because of what we're doing. 